you won again at Richmond in September. Mm -hmm. And this new kid, Kevin Harvick, got into Ricky for the lead. And this then, is a great story right here, man. And and then Ricky got into him yep. uh, to retake the lead, and eventually he he won. What was it like to watch a race like that from the pits? Okay, so we had a good car all all uh, all weekend again. That was the sister car that I was telling you about to the Pocono car. Okay. All uh, right. So we had a good weekend all weekend, and Ricky always runs good at short tracks, especially at Richmond, because somewhat of a home track for him uh at the point we we had worked our way up until when we were leading and uh i don't remember how much was left um when that happened but it was right after a restart when they had bunched us all back up it's right after a restart and uh new kid on the block kevin harvey um was on our bumper and like you say, he 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 hit Ricky. I mean, he intended to knock him out of the way. He didn't rub him a little bit. He knocked the crap out of him. And it was our race to win. We already knew it. It was our race to lose, I should say. We had to do something wrong, either in the pits or somewhere to lose that race. That's how good we were. My, it's a great story, man. This is not – you might get an award for this one. <laughs> My NASCAR official's name was John Mazzarelli. Okay. little short guy. Yeah. Right? Great dude. Uh, even temperament. You couldn't really make him mad. Uh, he was just perfect guy. And I got off the top of the pit box, and I walked down, and I walked down the steps. And I walked out on pit road, and I gave him the finger, and I said, come here. And he said, yeah. And I said, you you call the tower and you tell them that they better be in victory lane because I'm going to whip Harvick's fucking ass <laughs> in victory lane when this race is over with. And he said, I can't tell them that. I said, you need to tell them to meet me down there because I'm going to beat his ass. You hear me? Right down there. And I... Climbed back up on the wagon and went back up and sat down and started watching the race. And about that time, going down into three and four, Ricky washed Harvick all the way back up the racetrack. And I climbed back down the wagon, back down the step, went back out on victory on pit road and said, John, come here. And he said, what? He was shaking at that point because, like I say, he was real even-tempered. He said, what? What? I said, disregard my first message. <laughs> And then we went back up, and, and then we won the race. Uh, you know, I might not ought to say this yeah. because a journalist is always supposed to be objective, but I kind of sort of hope, I, I kind of sort of hate that Ricky won the race. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> and Harvick's my friend, and, and you know what? Because he, I don't know that. More and more heck of a show. I don't even know that he knows that. Yeah. Harvick. Yeah. To this, well, obviously, if he happens to hear this, he'll know it, but yeah. he yeah. didn't know it up till this point. Uh, but, um, yeah, I was mad, man. It's just so hard to win. Yeah. Um, I understand completely. Yeah. And so, like I say, like I said before, I ain't supposed to be there. Half that team ain't supposed to be there. Todd and him kicked them out of the 88, out of the Robert's shop. And, and we were just a bunch of has-been, never-want-bees. And, and we were winning, and we were running good, and we were running good in the points. 